All right, we're back with another review. We are here talking oh, yeah. bad guys. And this is not a prequel to the movie Bad Boys. No connection there whatsoever. I was a little confused yep. going into it. Uh, but Efren and I had a chance to see this. Saw it my son. Efren saw it with his daughters. Mm-hmm. And uh, we had a fun time with the bad guys. Yes, we did. This is one that when I saw the trailer for it, I was like, oh, this looks like it could be fun. And uh, I, from the trailers, I was like, I kind of like the animation style. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, so I was like, yeah, we'll go check this out. Showed the girls. They're like, yeah, it looks fun. Let's do it. And uh, so we went and saw it. We saw it Thursday night. You guys saw it Friday, Saturday, Friday, something yeah, like that. Friday. Yeah, something like that. And uh, yeah, I, we saw this. And I will say, first off, my kids absolutely loved it. They thought it was hilarious. And they loved everything that happened. And uh, I enjoyed it, too. When uh, you can entertain the kids and the adults, DreamWorks, you continue to crush it. Mm -hmm. Uh, That is the mark of a good animated movie where it is adult enough to keep us interested, not too adult enough where it's not good for the kids and the kids can laugh and enjoy this Mm -hmm. thing. I didn't, my daughter was in school, um, so, but I spent the day with my son Carter and uh, he had an absolute blast with this, was laughing nonstop. Uh, Two movies in a row, he didn't get up to use the bathroom. There we go. Uh, so there you go. I did a couple times, uh, but um, you know, and he had a great time with this, and he's talked about it so much that uh, my daughter wants to go see it because she now feels left out, which I get. So I'm gonna take her to see it again soon, probably. There you go. Yeah, my kids as well are like, hey, can we go back and watch it? They're like, can we go back? Can we? And then uh, say, I think it was Sayla. She said, hey, can we do a double feature? Will we watch this and Sonic Two again? And so oh. they're just, they're all about it. I'm just proud that the kids are asking for a double feature. Makes me very proud. Um, yeah. Um, Carter wanted to see Sonic 2 again before this, but I talked him into seeing this because we hadn't seen it yet. But now he wants to go – same exact thing. He wants to go see this again. wants to go see Sonic 2 again. Mm-hmm. I guess I need to add yeah. him to the A-list now. So. Yeah, there you go. Might as well. Entourage that bad boy. Entourage. So, uh, Entourage. Yeah. yeah, so just, I guess, get into some good here. Um, I, I What you said, like this is something that was good enough. Like it wasn't so dumbed down that the adults couldn't enjoy it. But it wasn't so adult that the kids wouldn't enjoy it, and uh, and I just want to say this is the second movie you know under the Universal umbrella that has killed it for family movies. I mean, they did it with Sing Two. Sing Two was Illumination. This is DreamWorks, but both under Universal, and both of these have done a great job entertaining both parents and kids. And this is something that when you're making a family movie, uh, especially as of late, for some reason, not a lot of these animation studios are doing a good job of balancing both anymore. It's either like too adult for the kids or it's too stupid for the adults. And, and they haven't, it's like they forgot how to do that balance, but they've done a great job uh, with this one. And I think with this, it was just the, with the way the bad guys is a heist movie, but then like, you know, other stuff ensues. Don't want to spoil anything. Um, but it, it has a lot of references to oceans 11. Um, Gary, you had pointed out with also with uh, Point Break, um, but other like high heist movies, and, and it does steal some tropes and things from it. But it was also like able to feel fresh to me, like a good like breath of fresh air of a movie to watch, and uh, especially with the kids and everything. So I thought it was uh, very well written, very well made, and uh, like I said, the animation style is fantastic. Um, so and, and the voice acting was great. Sam Rockwell as the wolf as a leading guy that was great. Uh, really liked how, what he did there. And it just seems like everyone was truly committed to the roles that they were playing. So, again, like we talked about before, when you're doing voice acting, you got to sell these characters with your voice. And I thought they did a great job with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sam Rockwell is another. We talk about actors who are unappreciated all the time. He's put him in that category because mm-hmm. um, he crushed it pretty much everything he does. Um, yeah, a lot of good. This movie, The Funny, was balanced out well. The story was good and the message. This wasn't a message. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we go to these movies and we'll understand a message and we're hoping, man, I hope my kids don't pick up on this. Yeah. Um, that wasn't in this movie. It was basically the message was people change. People can change for the good. Mm-hmm. Um, and that seemed to be the message throughout the movie for many, many characters. And uh, just because your reputation and your natural um, – whatever you want to call it is to be bad. Well, mm-hmm. you know what? You don't always have to be that way. And that's what this movie is telling. And uh, 
yeah, I thought the animation was top notch. All the characters are great. Um, I was into the story and the voice actors. I mean, we got a wolf, a piranha, a snake, a tarantula, and a shark. Yeah, uh, doing a heist. So, yeah, I'm I'm yeah. up for that. Yeah, and it was and it was great because some of the stuff that's in it, it's like because of the world that it's set in. You're like, this is too far fetched. Why wouldn't they notice those disguise? Like it's literally walking animals, like and stuff. But of course, like, but thing is, they I, th- I thought they played into it very well because of what you just said. It's like they're considered the bad guys because of how they look, right? Because of what they are. Like they they had those stereotypes, and so and so they just go like, no one's ever gonna not be afraid of us. So that's why I felt like I was able to to disband some of the some disbelief there is because yeah, like nor because in a human world, which all this takes place with talking animals. Like human world, you look at these animals in real life, and we're, most people are scared of them, of everything. So people are scared of piranhas, wolves, sharks, tarantulas, and snakes. Like that's just what it is. So they have that whole, oh well, you know, th- people are always going to look at us and be scared, so we might as well be bad. And it was like, no, you don't have to do that. And then, um, but just seeing the, how that plays off into it, and then, then, you know, things that happen in the movie and how they switch and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it was just really good. Um, so I. I, I agree with you. I think a lot of that was really good, and I like the message and things, and um, and it just fighting against the stereotype. I think that's good too. Yeah, and lots of funny parts, like we said, and it, like I said, it was original. You know, yeah, these aren't characters we've seen before. I mean, we, we've seen snakes and stuff before. I don't think I've seen a piranha in a movie before. Yeah, um, you know, uh, but uh, yeah, is that original? It was good. Yeah, it was good. So now it's to the uh, ironic bad of the bad guys. <laughs> The title. Yeah. The bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, for this, honestly, like, as I thought about it over the weekend and stuff, the only bad thing, me personally, that I would say is, uh, again, maybe some tropes, a, a couple of cliches and things that happen in a normal heist movie that may not have been completely original. Um, but at the same time, you're making a family movie, and I'm not expecting them to, like, give us a new version of a heist movie. I expect an actual like I guess like adult heist movie to try to do that for me. Uh, like I'm not expecting it out of kids because you don't want to get so over the top that the kids don't understand what's going on. And so it, that's why I, I kind of like to me, I'm like, that's probably like the worst thing. And yeah, maybe I, I was able like, you know, there is a twist in this movie. I, if you want to call it that, I saw it coming a mile away. I oh, think gosh, anybody from the opening. <laughs> it's like Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like, I think you, like adults will see it coming from a mile away. Kids may or may not figure out. Like, my oldest figured it out. Um, my two youngest didn't. But, you know, so, like, it, it, to me, those are, like, the only bad things. But at the same time, it's, like, I don't think it's really that bad because it's it, it's a family movie. Like, it's it's made to entertain the masses. And you can't do anything new or different because then you'll lose the kids. So that's why it's, like, from an adult perspective, sure, those are probably the bad things. But from a family perspective, it's not really bad, if that makes sense. No, oh, yeah. I mean, you gotta you gotta give this the family movie, kids movie curve. You know, yeah. I'll do. A, a, you know, when I rate this movie, I'll give it that curve. It's like, yeah, cliche, predictable from the opening scene of this. Guy. Oh, that's the bad guy. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, but you know, it's a yeah. nitpick. You know, nitpick, you know? Um, yeah. So it's it's hard to say this was bad. This was, this was you know. Yeah. But, but I guess I think because it wasn't like a lot bad. Like I said, like animation was good. Voice acting was good. I thought the writing was good. Mm-hmm. You know, so for as far as bad, that's like, again, if you would just want to look at it from a pure like movie, movie purist, everything has to be fantastic or whatever as an adult. Sure. That's all I would pick. But even then, it wouldn't knock this movie down any more notches, mm-hmm. like or very many notches, I, is what I meant yeah. to say. Yeah. So I don't know. Anything else you saw, Gary? No. 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 Yeah. So good. And yeah. Um, and we kind of touched on this earlier. We kind of like to do a dad perspective. You know, we talked about this. The message was good. Um, we like that. There's nothing in this that as a dad, I would be concerned with, with even young kids. Um, you know, my youngest is six. Gary's youngest is four, five. He'll be five. Then. He'll be five. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, me personally, I didn't say anything in there where I'd be where, where like, like we and I, Gary, we know this feeling where we sat watching a movie with our kids and we were like, mm-hmm. hope they didn't notice that. Yep. Oh, uh, I can't believe didn't have any of those moments in this in this movie. Yeah, it's safe for the kids. Um, take your kids to the theater with confidence. These are coming from two dads, two pastors, mm-hmm. uh, you know, who we see things through the lens of God's word. Uh, at least we try right. to. Right. 
And uh, so, yeah, you're safe with this one. Take him, yeah. take him to the theater and have fun with it. Yeah, probably the only thing – now, this I forgot to mention this in the good. Probably the only thing is just to think about, which to me isn't really like a big deal, I guess, is um, there are these scenes um, kind of like this where they turn and talk to the camera and they're like literally just like talk to you. And uh, and sometimes like there's a scene that says, I'm the big bad wolf and like the – like the, the like the camera like zooms in on his face. You see like his sharp teeth and stuff. That could that might be a little scary for younger kids. Just be aware that they have a couple scenes like that. There's another scene where they're trying to uh, help a cat out of a tree, <laughs> and they're all like, "Come here!" And then but they don't know how to do it because like they're scary. <laughs> they're these scary animals, and they have like the like it's not really scary, but it happens like so quick. It, like for younger kids, it might scare them, but. Fun. Yeah, it might be might be a bit much. It's kind of like if you watch anime and anime does that, like da 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 wah, like and it just kind of like does that thing. It kind of has like a couple. I don't know, maybe two or three times, maybe more. I can't remember, but it has a couple of those that maybe younger younger kids, like I, not, I had a car to take those. Like, did it startle oh, him? He yeah, yeah, but yeah. My kids, yeah, my kids were fine. So maybe younger than that. Just just be aware. Yeah, they're really quick, like flashes. You know. Yeah. Also, if they watch the foosball episode of Community, that that's in there too. So be yes, to exactly. There you go. Yeah. So that's the thing. It's like there's nothing. Like it's not really scary. It's just be aware. If your kid scares easily, or if it's younger, just know those are there. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then like, and honestly, this picture right here. Oh crap! This picture. I don't even know how to use my camera. Right over there. Uh, th one thing that I love about it is this, is this like squad this buddy movie as well as a heist movie you kind of yeah. see it in this picture so that's another thing that i thought was really cool and just like you know the value of friendship and the value of listening to oh, each yeah. other keeping each other in the loop like there's all that stuff like the importance of your friends and things so i thought all that was great too oh yeah um the uh, message of community is definitely in this not the mm -hmm. show yeah. actually yeah yeah so so those are the things I know we kind of went flew through this, but um, honestly, I don't know about you, Gary, but for me, it's like, I don't want to say too much more because you can very easily spoil this. And I'd rather you guys go with your family to go see this movie. And, uh, and yeah, and this movie actually debuted, uh, number one this weekend and making, oh, did it? Wow. yeah, like making 24 million or something like that. Uh, or, or, I mean, is that right? Or is it 40 something million? Either way, it debuted number one. It might've been 40. I, I got... I looked at a bunch of numbers and I can't remember what does what. Twenty four might have been Sonic two, and then maybe that was forty, but I can't remember. But either way, on par with other movies. What's that? It does my heart well to see movies like this making money. Yes, yeah. So they're very they're very happy with it, and uh, and yeah. So families keep showing up. And here's the thing: it's like guys, like listen, if you make a good family movie, guess what? The families are going to show up to watch it, and uh, and yeah. So there's so there's that. Yeah, so I guess it's time to review this bad boy. I mean, review, not review it. What's oh, it we called? Over. Rate it. Yeah, no, we're gonna start all over. Come back, real pastors. Or, oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm gonna give it, you know, with my family movie, kids movie, animated movie curve. I'm get my hats off rating of four out of five. You know, yeah. um, it's on par there with the Sing movies, the uh, Minions or whatever you wanna call them. Um, mm -hmm. Despicable right Me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's you know. And that whole family of Universal, they continue to crush it. Good job. Yep, yep. And I'll just keep that up there again. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we we cheat a little bit. We have our family movie curve. But yeah, this is this is a great family movie. Go watch it. Go see it in the theater. Have a lot of fun. Animation's great. Story's great. Everything we said. Um, Safe for the whole family. This is just a great time at the movie. Uh, I had a great time with my girls. I know Gary had a great time. With Carter, he's going to have a great time. Take going back with his kids. And, uh, yeah, lots of laugh. Great. So, yeah, this is one. Definitely check out. This will definitely be on the shelf so the kids can just keep watching it over and over. Um, like right they there, have. The same movies. Yep, exactly. So, they're, they're, yeah, it'll happen. So, yeah, check it out. Uh, four out of five Hail Marys. We are excited to really say worth the spending the money, family time at the movie theater. Go see it at the theater. Yes. All right. All right, everybody. Thanks for being with us. Hope you enjoyed our review. As always, subscribe if you haven't yet. Like, hit that like button, and uh, share with your friends, real pastors. 
and lots of reviews and things coming your way. And thanks for being with us. See everybody. Goodbye.